Well, it was worth a shot, but the security guard there was really pretty uh, ornery about taking any tour. I just wanted to see the librarian, but apparently the librarian is a teacher too, so she was going to be teaching and out. But I did get to see the school that my father attended. I left a note. Uh, for the librarian to send us any records that she might have had of my father attending here either from issues of uh, I don't know a yearbook photo to any documents maybe even uh, report card copies that would be interesting or application I don't know just something to uh, you know a little bit more of a, a paper trail I think I think the reason that it's special uh, to me at least is that you know I have this sort of quasi fragmented view of my parents early years obviously there's a, a big void other than photographs of a visual environment like where they were from from Cuba that, talk about heavy that's going to be a moment to one day be in Havana and walk through the neighborhood my father literally uh, played in grew up in was raised in and stand inside hopefully one day the house that he uh, remembers living in and and uh, bringing he remembers very clearly having uh, one of the first uh, TV sets in the neighborhood and how his uh, mom and dad used to put up uh, benches so everybody can uh, see the uh, the TV during whatever hours they were watching the TV. So I was really, you know, it's just I think today is about piecing together a little bit of my parents' past, and in essence, connecting to me is making me more of an understanding of them, and and really making me a little bit more whole not that I'm not whole but I think that we all have these curiosities and that that school is just a little piece of you know why I'm here today or a little piece of the trajectory history of how my father came to be and you know it's one of those things I'm here struggling with the cold normally I don't but I'm normally layered up a lot more uh, in a few days I'll be having no less than 10 layers out in the middle of Oklahoma, but um, it's interesting to note that one of the things that I heard a lot was that uh, the cold was so much so that it just was unbearable and probably made an impact into them going back to Miami, obviously. But think about it, if it had not, and life would somehow continue here for my father, he probably would not have met my mom <laughs> um, in Miami years later. Um, I know, you know, it's one of those things where there's a movie not so long ago about how people's lives take a, a change when you're at a fork in the road and, and you know, I don't know, just something to think about if you get my drift. So.